welcome back to today's video in which we are hoping to uh, fully complete this wardrobe. Right, so here we go from the outside, you can see where it is in relation to the bed. And obviously this room has not even been touched yet, hence where the feature wall is still there. So we're gonna go through this door. Um, I don't know the exact measurements, but I'll leave them in the description box below just for anyone that's curious. But it's a pretty decent size. So inside you can see that someone at some point has put in, I think you can get these from Ikea, they're almost like shop fittings, some shelves in there and some rails in here. We personally don't think that's the best use of space. Um, Simon has designed his little wardrobe himself. So yes, all the design features and storage features are all Simon's idea. However, I have designed the aesthetics. So that's my part in this to play. So first things first, we need to strip out all of this hardware from inside. Right, so first things first, or rather while Simon's doing filling and other bits and bobs inside the actual wardrobe, I'm going to start to paint the Ikea bits that Simon's bought to go inside the wardrobe. Um, now, these are all from the complement range, which are the like accessories that basically go in with the PAX wardrobes, which we also have and which I'm also going to have to paint. But first of all, I'm just going to start painting these shelves. Now before I can paint, what I actually have to do is just give them a light sand with some sanded paper. So that's why I'm outside. Then I'm gonna move into the office, which we haven't finished yet. And I'm just gonna use that as like my workshop to paint. So yesterday didn't really go as planned. One day wardrobe renovation has now turned into two day wardrobe renovation. Wasn't really our fault. The paint arrived a little bit later than we were expecting and I didn't anticipate how much these walls needed filling and sanding, filling again, sanding. So yesterday, Emma cracked on, got the three shelves painted for me, which is ideal. I filled all the holes in here, all 1,000 of them. Sanded them, give them a quick fill again, give them a little sand this morning, and now we're ready to crack on. I need to measure for the shelves where they're going on this side in the wardrobe, and then we're gonna paint this room. And just like that, I get the sinking sensation that darkness is closing in. Are you sure about this, hun? Are you sure about this? Yeah. You wanna come and check? Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Ooh, that's nice. 
You like it? Yeah. I'm going to try and show people, but it's literally just pitch black. Good. <laughs> Probably didn't think this all the way through. Going for a small one. <laughs> Basically, well, you'll be able to tell exactly what we're doing right now. We are building packs, wardrobes, or actually just singular, a wardrobe. Got to build it vertically. And we're going to have to build it vertically, which is not as per the instructions here. So this is how you it. should do it, but we reckon there's two of us that we can do it and we're going to have to build it inside the wardrobe. Now, as you can see, it's still white. I haven't painted it yet. That's one of the only things that I'm going to paint once it's actually in here. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Right, the wardrobe is in securely. Obviously, there's a bit of a gap here, but Simon will demonstrate what's going to happen with that gap. Now, he has fixed it to the wall with these panels or with these little bracket things hidden underneath those plastic things which I asked him not to because it's going to make it difficult for me to paint down that edge without touching that wall. But, you know. So yes, now I'm going to get stuck into giving it one coat before we go to bed. Right, so it's day three and I don't know whether to laugh or cry. How can it take three days to change this cupboard into a walk-in cupboard? But in fairness, I had an accident, spilt a load of paint on the chair, so we had to wait until we had some more paint so that we could finish off. But Emma has been cracking on, painted absolutely everything. The shelves are in. I had to put a tiny little bit of filler on there just where the brackets are, so that'll be painted over so you won't be able to see it. And now I just need to assemble everything that Emma has been painting and pop it in there. At last, we are all finished. It's only taken three days, but we got there eventually. But I thought, because we didn't show you how we'd been living before we started this video, I would show you my current wardrobe before I move everything into my new wardrobe. So there we go. Organised chaos. So the final task of this video is now to move all of this, all my worldly belongings, downstairs into my new fancy walk-in wardrobe. Ta-da! There we are. There you have it. All my worldly possessions are neatly stored away in my nice new walk-in wardrobe. Granted, I can't really call it a walk-in wardrobe because it's more of just a, a wardrobe in a cupboard, but I like it. And yes, for those eagle-eyed among you, it's not completely finished. I've just popped the floor in so it gives you an idea of how everything will look. We can't do the floor until the bedroom's done. So that's gonna have to wait for a little while. But it's not the worst thing in the world. I can cope with that, it's not a problem. And I've got a fancy OOTD mirror. Look at me, hello. And then over here is where my trousers are. Moving down, I've got a fancy tray with all my accessories. Fancy hats, gloves and scarves. Coming down, got some cashmere jumpers, my t-shirts, pants drawer, we'll ignore that. Few nice jumpers in those drawers on the bottom. And then over this side, we've got my suits, shirts, couple more hoodies, jumpers, trainers, and there'll be some more footwear down there once the floor's done. I'll just hide them under there for now. And this is Emma's favourite bit. <laughs> my pull-out scarf rail with three scarves. And representing up there, Blue Jays. So that's it. That's it for this week, isn't it? Another job done. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of painting. Lots of painting. I'm slightly regretting that now, because now we've got to do mine. That's we a are. Job for another day. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.